controversy over Pennsylvania's reopening plan. With some county leaders threatening to defy orders, Governor Tom Wolf is standing his ground, threatening to pull funding and close down businesses that open early. Monday afternoon, I'm Jeanette Reyes. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News here today is that stern warning from Harrisburg today for Pennsylvanians who are growing frustrated with this shutdown. Action News reporter Chad Perdelli live in Doylestown, Bucks County today, where officials have been pushing back against the governor, Chad. Yeah, Brian, county leaders here, though, made it clear they don't plan to go rogue or anything, but they want a firm date from the governor so businesses here that are hurting can reopen. Here in quaint Doylestown, businesses are on life support. We've already lost three businesses in town since this started. And if it lasts for too much longer, I think you're, we're going to lose a lot more. Inside Eden Organic Salon and Spa, the chairs are empty. There's people that stand to lose everything they ever worked for in their life because of this. And their county commissioners are listening. They've called on Governor Tom Wolf to set a firm date to reopen. And they want an answer this week. If you give them a date, They'll hold on. Bucks County Commissioner Diane Ellis Marseglia says Bucks County won't reopen without the governor's approval, but other counties are threatening to do so. Governor Wolf called such proposed acts cowardly and said those counties could lose COVID relief funding. You business owners, these politicians put you at risk of losing your health department certificate. They put you business owners at risk of losing your liquor license. They put you business owners at risk of losing your certificate of occupancy. Our governor called them cowards today, and I think they're quite the opposite of that. I think they're brave, and I think that someone does need to stand up for freedom. We followed the rules. We did what we were supposed to do, and the state hasn't done what they were supposed to do. We don't have funding. We don't have what's going to keep us alive, and we need to open. And we have a list of the consequences the governor is warning about if counties defy his orders. They are on our website at 6abc.com. I'm live in Doylestown, Chad Perdelli, Channel 6 Action News. Okay, Chad, thank you. Meanwhile, the